Welcome back. I'm with Mark Avra, and I would like him to tell us about trials. I know you've had a lot of experience as a trial attorney, and not everybody's been through a trial, so it would be interesting to know what the process is, maybe starting all the way from filing a suit. How do you go about that? Well, there's a lot involved before you even get to the point where you file a lawsuit. When folks come to us and they have something they need help with and we agree to undertake the case, there's a tremendous amount of investigation that goes into that uh, with paralegals, in the field investigators collecting documents and depending on the nature of the case every case is different but an insurance claim and the information we need to investigate that is different from an auto accident it's different from a commercial case which is different from a contractual dispute which is different from a divorce all of those areas and regardless of the case require us to collect information on behalf of the client so that we can begin to evaluate things there are factual issues uh, there are legal issues um, that we have to research so that at some point in this process of investigating what's going on, we can sit down with a client again and explain to them what we've learned and what we think about the factual issues. Are they in our favor or against us? Are there legal issues that are in our favor or against us? And try our best to explain the options to the client about now where do we go? Do we file a lawsuit? Do we try to get it resolved? Uh, do we contact an insurance company, the opposing party, try to find out who their counsel is and try to enter a dialogue? So there's a tremendous amount of work that goes into reaching that point where the client says, Mark, I now authorize you to file a lawsuit. As much as I don't want to do it, we're going to start the litigation process. And that happens a lot of times. So what would be alternatives to filing a suit? Well. Um, Depending on the nature of the case, I mean, in, in some areas, if you're dealing with an insurance company who's on the other side, um, if you're represented by somebody who's never tried a case, it's difficult to figure out whether the insurance company is going to give you fair value for your claim if they know the lawyer's never going to go to a courtroom. Because they feel like they've, they've got one up on you there because they're not threatened with the trial. They absolutely know who goes to trial and who doesn't. So sometimes it may be advantageous if an insurance company is on the other side to let them know that you're serious and that you are represented by somebody who, if they don't do the right thing and are fair and reach a fair compromise, that you will go and ask a jury to decide for everybody. Um, and that, uh, when juries decide, somebody's going to leave unhappy from the courtroom. So that's why you have all the investigation that goes into that. So when you take that step, uh, you know that you have a fairly good chance of success. When you file that lawsuit, though, that starts the process where you obtain service on the other party, either through the sheriff, they're the authorized process server in all counties of the, uh, counties of the state. People can get authorized to serve uh, process, but it's typically the sheriff. And then the case or file is then assigned to a lawyer or a law firm, and they appear on the other side. And then we start discovery. And discovery is a word that's used to describe that process or that part of the litigation process where both sides are collecting information over and above what we were collecting before the lawsuit was filed. For example, the other side may have documents that we could not get through our investigative process because those documents are internal to the other side. We can now file formal requests for those documents and in almost all circumstances, if it's reasonably related to the case, they have to give it to us, just like we have to give information to them. And that can change the whole case. Once you find out more information about the case, it can change the way that you're looking at it, and maybe you'll decide initially you're thinking about going to trial, but now you have to try another option, like mediation, for example. Mediation comes up in every case in Florida. Florida was one of the forerunners in the mediation process, and mediation was developed in the 80s to try to get civil claims resolved without using the judicial resources of the various counties and bringing a jury in and seating them and trying the case with all the judicial resources that are necessary to accomplish that. So mediation in Florida is now required in every civil case. Before you reach the courtroom and a jury, you will have mediated the case. And that simply means that you sat down with your lawyer and the other side and their lawyers and a mediator who's typically a lawyer or uh, oftentimes a retired judge and most mediators are certified by the Florida Supreme Court in mediation and they sit down and they try to work through the issues that are involved to reach a resolution of the case. And then there's one other option that we have just a few minutes to talk about, but arbitration. How, what is that? 
Arbitration is a process that sometimes people enter into contracts. Uh, and in the contract, they'll say something along the lines of, in the event that there is a breach or there's litigation, instead of submitting this matter to a jury, well, we want the case to be arbitrated. There's uh, an American Arbitration Association. There's an arbitration code that the state of Florida has in the statutes. And typically, if you're going to have an arbitration panel decide the issues as opposed to a jury, there are three arbitrators. You pick one. The other side picks one, and those two pick a third. And the evidence rules are somewhat relaxed, and you have an arbitration hearing, kind of like a trial, without a jury and without a judge. And you sit down, and that arbitration panel then reaches a decision. And then you take that decision, and you ask the circuit court judge to reduce that decision to a judgment. So it's just not as easy as walking in and saying, I'm ready to file a suit, let's do it tomorrow. It's very no, complicated. It never is. There's a lot of investigation involved, and, and I don't think I've ever started a case where I filed the lawsuit where the case either didn't get better or get worse between the time we filed it and the jury trial. So many variables. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sure.